Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create professional resume template in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes. I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called Resume, open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, size is A4, I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. First we are going to create a border guidelines, for that go to the guidelines folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select green color, now go to shapes tool and select rectangle tool, give a click and create a rectangle shape which reads 144 by 544. By using this shape as a reference, we are going to create a guidelines. Now enable free transform tool, control T, give a 90 degree rotation. Create vertical guidelines. Fine, now you can disable this one. Now please do note that I already have my text content ready in a notepad file. So when it comes to text part, all I'm going to do is just copy paste it. So before getting started, please do have your text content ready in a notepad or word file. Fine, next we are going to drop in our image. For that, we are going to create an image for placeholder. Now go to the image folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select black color. Now go to shapes tool and select ellipse tool, give a click and create a circle which reads 406 by 406 I'll place the placeholder here now go to the folder you downloaded open image one inside Photoshop of course you can use your image drag and drop the image inside your canvas make sure to place it right above a placeholder layer right click and create clip masking now enable free transform tool and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next we are going to create name and qualification. For that go to the text folder, create a layer, go to color picker, sample this blue color. The font I'm using is a free font, I'll give link in the description, you can download it. I'm going with size 38, now type in your name. I'll create a duplicate copy, Ctrl J. Next, I'm going to add my qualification, create a layer, go to color picker, sample this black color. Now I'm going to use another font, it's called Leto. I'll give link in the description, it's a free font, you can download it if you want. I'm going with size 11, I'll keep the style as heavy. Fine, now our name and qualification is ready. Next, I'm going to add a contact details on right side. Before that, we are going to bring in icons. For that, go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see icons one PSD file. Open the file inside Photoshop. Now, drag and drop the icons one folder inside our resume template. Make sure to place it right above text layer. Zoom in and place it at the right spot. I'll place it here. Next, we're going to add our contact details. Go to text folder, create a layer. Go to color picker and sample this off black color. Now select text tool. I'm going with the same letter font, but I'll reduce the size down to 10. I'll keep the style as bold. Now I'm going to create three duplicate copies. I'm using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Now I'm going to edit the text content. Now our top part is ready. Let me create a guidelines. Fine. Next we are going to add our other text content. Before that we are going to bring in our icons. For that go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see a folder called icons2. Double click and open the file. You will find a pre-designed icon. Drag and drop the folder inside our canvas. I'll place it here as of now. First we are going to 
add job fronts icons here next we are going to add job preference title for that go to the text folder create a layer go to color picker sample this black color i'm using the same font we used previously for title i'll keep the size as 14 fine next i'm going to create a line here for that go to the design folder create a layer now go to color picker select black color now select line tool this one i'll keep the weight as 8 pixels now by holding shift key in your keyboard create a line like so fine now our line is ready next i'm going to add other text content company name and other informations for that go to the text folder create a layer go to color picker i'm going with blue color I'll keep the font style as bold and size as 10. Create a duplicate copy. Next, I'm going to add year information for that create a layer. I'm going with black. I'll change the font to Lato. I'll keep the size as 8. Adjust the position. I'll place it here. Next, I'm going to add the company name and other text content for the create a layer. I'm going with the same font, but I'll change the style to heavy and I'll keep the font size as 10. Next, I'm going to add job description for the create a layer. I'm using the same font, but I'll change the style to regular. Fine. Next, I'm going to select the four text layers we created by holding Shift key. These four text layers. Now, I'm going to place it inside a folder. I'll name it as one. Now, I'm going to create a duplicate copy. Control J. Move it down below. I'll create another copy. Control J. Now, change the folder names to two and three. Now, I'm going to edit the text. Fine, now we are done with the job experience text part. Next, we are going to add our education text information. For that, go to the icons to folder. Select education icon. I'll place it here. Next, I'll create a duplicate copy of this job experience title. You control J. Move it down and place it here. I'll edit it as education. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this line for that go to the design folder. Select that line layer, create a duplicate copy, control J by holding shift key, bring it down and place it right here. Fine. Next, we're going to add our education text information for that go to the text folder. Now select this folder three we created previously, create a duplicate copy, control J by holding shift key, bring the text layer down below and place it here. You can use your keyboard arrow keys to adjust the spacings. I'm going to create another duplicate copy, Control J, bring it down and place it here. Name the layers as 4 and 5. Now edit your text. Fine, we are done with the education text part. Let's move to reference text content. First go to the icons to folder, select reference icon, move it and place it somewhere here. Now I'm going to create a duplicate copy of education text layer. I'll place it here. Edit the text. Now go to the design folder, create a layer. Go to color picker and sam sample and select the black color. Now go to the shape tool and select line tool. I'm going with the same six pixels as weight and now create a line. Fine. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this folder 5, this layer, Control J, I'll name it as 6, place it here, adjust the spacings. Now I'm going to edit the text part. Fine. Now I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this text layer, Control J, and I'll name it as 7, bring it down below. Now edit the text. 
Fine, we are done with the reference text spot. Let's move to final portion skills text spot. Now go to the icons to folder, move the skills icon and place it somewhere here. Now I'm going to create a duplicate copy of reference. Now go to the design folder, create a layer, go to color picker and select CM black color. Pick the line tool, I'll keep the weight as 6 pixels. Now create a line. Fine. Next, we are going to use progress bar kind of design for representing our skills level. For that, go to the design folder, create a layer. I'll name it as 1 and place it inside a folder. I'll name it as L1. Now go to color picker, sample and select this black color. Now go to shapes tool and select line tool. I'll keep the weight as 20 pixels. Now zoom in. Now create a bar like so. By enabling free transform tool control T, you can adjust the size. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity, sorry, fill to 20%. I'll create a duplicate copy control J. I'll name it as 2. Now by double clicking the thumbnail, I'm going to change the color to blue color. This one. Now we increase the fill to 100%. We can edit the progress for later. Now let's create 5 duplicate copies. Ctrl J. I'll name it as L2. By holding shift key, bring it down below. I'm going to repeat the very same step. Ctrl J. Now name the layers. Next, we are going to add our text content. For that, go to the text folder, create a layer, go to color picker and sample the sample and select the black color. I'm going to use the latter font. I'll keep the size as 7 pixels and style as bold. Type in your text content. I'll create duplicate copy, control J. Now edit your text. Fine, now our text is ready. Next, we are going to add bullets to our text content. For that, go to the design folder, create layer, place it inside a folder. I'll name it as dots. Now go to color picker and sample the blue color. Now go to shapes tool and select ellipse tool. Now zoom in and create a tiny circle shape like so. Adjust the spacings. Now I'm going to create a duplicate copy. Control J. Fine. Now we added the bullets to our text content. Now we are going to edit our progress bar. For that, go to the L1. Zoom in. Now enable free transform tool. Control T. Make sure you have selected the layer two. This one by holding Shift key. Adjust the bar based on your skill level. I'm going to repeat the very same step. Go to L2. Select layer two. Enable free transform tool. Control T. Based on your skill level, adjust the bar. Repeat the same for the rest of the progress bar designs. Fine, we are almost done. As a final step, we are going to add a bar on left side. For that, go to the background folder, create a layer, go to color picker, sample this blue color. Now go to shapes tool, select rectangle tool. Now create a bar on left side like so. So now resume template is ready. All you got to do is disable the guidelines folder. Now save the file as JPEG, PNG or PDF and get it printed. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.